Hello all, uh, welcome to Jivka Silko Bio YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can uh, press the subscribe button in my YouTube channel. And uh, in today's video, uh, I will show how to model missing regions in the protein 3D structure. So let's start. So in order to model missing regions, First, we need a structure, 3D structure of a protein. So, here I'm considering uh, EGFR kinase domain. So, you can see here, this is this is a competitive inhibitor, which is situated in the ADP binding pocket of EGFR, and you can see these are uh, these are the missing regions here you see these dashed lines they are actually uh, they are uh, representing missing regions so basically missing regions are are the loop regions uh, and they have very high flexibility and uh, during crystallization generally uh, researchers they they are not able to um, to get the proper you know, position of atoms uh, pro uh, they don't have uh, data uh, associated with these regions that's why these are called missing regions and they, generally these missing regions correspond to uh, loop loop regions okay so uh, so if you want to start MD simulation uh, then you need uh, you, your input structure should be uh, devoid of any error serious error and and missing regions uh, actually they can be considered as uh, as very serious uh, issue because uh, during MD simulation uh, this missing regions can uh, may, may give rise to errors okay because you see here uh, your protein will so abnormal behavior during MD simulation if, if this domain is not intact and you see so you have to fill these regions okay so what we have to do is to go to structure editing so this is UCSF Chimera and you have to go to tools and then structure editing and then click on model define loops. A window will appear. Okay. So basically here uh, I'm going to fill a uh, model all non-terminal missing structures because okay if few residues are missing at the uh, at at uh, either n terminal or c terminal then it's okay but if there, uh, there are missing regions uh, internal internal missing regions okay uh, means they are non terminal then they uh, they are uh, they can uh, give errors during md simulation okay so here uh, I have selected non-terminal missing structure and here allow this many residues adjacent to missing regions to move that is one. So basically uh, this means that you are going to allow one residue from here and one residue from here to move okay. And how many uh, models you want to generate five that is and loop modeling protocol should be standard okay and here it is default option and here I am going to use web service okay so if you don't want to go into details of modeler uh, because this is a modeler so um, this is uh, this is an interface to modeler okay so you know about modeler uh, modeler is a very uh, very popular software for homology modeling comparative modeling okay and uh, 
you can use modeler to build uh, to generate homology or complete mod models and you can also use it used to uh, refine the models you you can use uh, modeler to model loops okay so here uh, i'm using web service of the modeler and the modeler license key is the same key which you get uh, during the installation of modeler that is modeler nj and here is i have already created a folder which is on my desktop which is mission visions okay so now you have to click on apply so when you will click on apply then uh, you can see the progress here okay so it may take five to ten minutes and depending on uh, it will depend on the connectivity so if uh, the internet speed is not good then it may take a long time so see it's a showing progress 14 percent completed so when uh, when this modeler job will finish then you will see uh, five models including the input uh, structure so total six structures will be uh, visible on the screen and you will also see these machine regions uh, model missing regions okay So basically you can see here uh, so this is re this region is very large so this missing region is very large okay so more than 10 residues are missing here well uh, during molecular docking uh, it is not necessary to model uh, missing regions if they are away from the binding site. So, uh, if we talk about these two missing regions, they, they are away from the binding site. They are not. Uh, they will not interfere with the binding of the ligand. So you can use this structure for molecular docking but for molecular dynamic simulation uh, you have to do uh, you will have to do this uh, loop modeling okay Well, you can see the sequence. Um, so you can see these red uh, red regions. Actually, they are representing missing regions. So you can see here. So when I will select this, uh, so I'm selecting extra residues from both sides. So you can see this. Another region is here. You can see this is a long region, and this is this is also a mission region.
so uh, when this uh, modeling job job will finish then you will see that uh, the five models will have uh, different different conformations of the missing regions so you can select uh, a final model based on z score okay so negative value means good so more negative means uh, good model so you can select on the basis of zeta score so now it will after uh, one of after two minutes i think this model job will finish and then you will be able to see all five models on the screen and the good thing about this uh, loop modeling is that the other regions except except uh, missing regions other regions will be not affected so the coordinates will not change so this procedure is will not affect your uh, your regions other uh, other than missing regions okay So now you can see all these uh, models in blue color, sky blue color. So you can see it. Uh, you can also color it from. Yeah, you can color it differently if you like. You can see there are different conformations of missing regions, and uh, you can select the model on the basis of here. You you can see the Z score, Z top, uh, so Z top score, and here I'm considering the top, which is like which is more negative, so minus one point zero eight. So this uh, first 1.1 is is model with with a negative uh, most negative score. Okay. So this is the one uh, model model one, and you can see the missing regions. They have been nicely modeled. Okay. Well, you can save all the structures. And here you can save all the structures, save PDB. Yeah, see. So you can now uh, save all structures, all dot pdb. So okay, or maybe you can select only one, save pdb, or model one loop dot pdb. So let's see how the model appears. So now your your missing regions are absent so they have been modeled okay well uh, i will not say this is the correct confirmation of the missing region because uh, modeler uh, will produce uh, just few models maybe five ten it can produce 50 models also and and if there are so many missing region, uh, missing residues, then uh, 
conformation uh, then this loop can have uh, different conformations in it can take several conformations okay it is highly dynamic so uh, you cannot be sure about about the conformation of the loop region so what you can do you can run md simulation and you can explore the conformational states okay so other, otherwise it's a you can uh, consider this this a structure as a starting input structure for md simulation so thank you very much for watching this video i hope uh, this video will help you in your molecular modeling work. So thanks very much.